Gemon, how are you today? It's your teacher Gem once again. And this time, let's have the summative test on your lessons on gravity and friction. Let's see how much have you learned about these lessons. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. Again, we will have your summative test on the lessons about gravity and friction. I'll be flashing questions on screen. I'll give you time to answer. You can answer it in any piece of paper. And after that, I will give you the correct answer right away. Understood? Very good. Do you have your papers with you now? Are you ready? Direction. Read each item carefully. Write the letter of your choice in your paper. Write only the letter in your paper. Okay, let's start. Number one. Blank is the force that causes a moving object to slow down when it's touching another object. A. Friction. B. Gravity. C. Electricity. Or letter D. Weight. The correct answer in number one is... Yes, letter... Letter A. Friction is the force that causes the moving object to slow down when it is touching another object. Ang friction ng dahilan kung bakit yung mga gumagalaw na mga bagay humihinto or dahan-dahang humihinto when it is touching another object. Number two, friction can be explained as A. Two rough surfaces rubbing together. B. Two smooth surfaces rubbing together. C. Two smooth surfaces apart from each other. Or letter D, none of this. What do you think is the answer in number two? You will write it in your paper. And after that, I will give you the correct answer right away so that you could check your answer if your answer is wrong or correct. Now, what is your answer in number two? You can now write it in your paper. Now, the correct answer for number two is letter A. Two rough surfaces rubbing together could explain what friction is. Number three, Sally sliding down the slide would be an example of which type of friction? A. Rolling friction. B. Fluid friction. C. Sliding friction. Or letter D. Static friction. The correct answer in number 3 is, obviously, that's a sliding friction. Very good. It's letter C. Number 4. Where can you walk easier and faster? Saan ka pwede makalakad ng mabilis at maayos? A. On rough wooden floor. B. On wax shiny floor. C. On smooth cement floor. Or letter D, on shiny cement floor. You can now write your answer on your paper. Now, what's your answer in number 4? Saan ka maayos na makapaglakad at medyo mabilis? Yes, it's letter A, on rough wooden floor. Why do you think? Yes, very good. It is because on the rough wooden floor, the friction is... Hi, that's why you can walk easily. But in the wax shiny floor, smooth cement floor, and shiny cement floor are surfaces that have less friction. Number five, why is moving furniture on smooth floor easy? A, reduced friction. B, increased friction. C, same friction. Or letter D, added friction. Bakit mas maayos mo or mas madali i-move yung mga furniture sa mga smooth surfaces. What do you think? Yes, it's letter letter A because the smooth surface has reduced friction. 
Maliit lang yung friction nito, class. Kaya, madali mong i-move yung mga furniture. Mga furniture kasi natin, class, medyo mabibigat. Pero kung nasa smooth surfaces ito, medyo madali mo siyang i-move, no? i-push mo lang or i-pull mo lang. There, these furnitures, these heavy furnitures, can be easily moved when there is less friction. Number six, which direction does friction act? A, same. B, opposite. C, equal or letter D, adjacent. Now, what's your answer? Obviously, as you see here on the screen, the friction acts on the opposite direction of your motion. As you see here on screen, the direction of your motion is going forward. But the direction of the friction is opposite of the motion. That's why friction can slow down or can make object stop. Next, number seven. Friction is most often experienced when A, when two objects are not in contact. B, when two objects are far away. C, when two objects are in contact. Letter D, when objects are near each other. The correct answer is letter What's your answer? Yes, the correct answer is friction can be experienced often when two objects are in contact. Next, number eight. A boy sits halfway down a grassy slope. What force stops him sliding down? A. Gravity B. Weight C. Friction or letter D. Undetermined Ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit hindi na-slide ang boy nung nasa or grassy slope. The correct answer is letter C. Friction is the force that stops the boy from sliding down. Number 9. Rougher surfaces have A. Greater friction B. Less friction C. Same level friction or letter D. Undetermined Yung mga rough surfaces class. Is it greater friction or has it less friction or same level friction lang or cannot be determined? The correct answer in number 9 is yes, it's letter A. Rough surfaces have greater friction. Number 10, when an object starts to move, friction is A, increased, B, decreased, C, does not change or letter D, constant. Kung gumagalaw na ang isang object class, anong mangyayari sa friction? Yes, the friction is decrease. Once the friction is decreased, the object will start to move. Kasi yung friction ang dahilan kung bakit nagsuslow down or hindi na gumagalaw ang isang object. Pero kung gumagalaw na ang isang object, then the friction becomes lesser. Number 11. If you poured oil into a wooden surface, the friction would be A. Reduced B. Increased C. Remain the same or letter D. And determine Kung maglalagay ka na ng oil sa isang wooden surface, ano ang mangyayari sa friction? Yes, very good. The friction will become reduced. Mababawasan ang friction kasi naglagay ka na ng oil. Because oil could be considered as lubricant. Lubricants are the substances that produce less friction. Number 12. Grease and oil are substances that are capable of reducing friction when applied between solid surfaces. What do you call these substances? A. Lubricants B. Asphalt C. Heat Or letter D. Film Nasabi ko na yan kanina sa number 11. Oil Kasama na yung grease are examples of, yes, lubricants. These are examples of lubricants. So, lubricants is capable of reducing the friction on surfaces. Number 13, blank is a natural force that tends to cause physical things to move towards the earth. A, gravity. B, friction. C, weight or letter D, pressure. Ano daw yung tawag sa prayer sa class na humihila sa iyo patungong earth or patungo sa lupa? 
Yes, it's gravity. Letter A. 14. Attracts all objects towards each other. A. Gravity. B. Friction. C. Inertia. Or letter D. Weight. So obviously, it's letter A. It's gravity. Not Number gravity. 15. What is gravity? A. The force that pulls object to the ground. B. An object that conducts electricity. C. Molecules that make up the air we breathe. Or letter D. None of this. What do you think is the answer for number 15? Gravity is? Yes, it's a force that pulls objects to the ground. 16. Which has more gravitational force acting upon it? A. Bus B. Car C. Train or letter B. Person Again, letter A. Bus Letter B. Car Letter C. Train or letter D. Person Alin daw dyan ang mas may mataas ang gravitational force or ang paghila ng gravity towards the Earth. Siyempre, mas mataas ang gravitational pull ng mga mabibigat na bagay. So, alin kaya dyan ang makakonsider na pinakamabigat na bagay? Yes, it's letter C. It's the train. The train has more gravitational force compared to the bus, the car, and the person. 17. Why do your feet stay on the ground instead of floating? A. Because of volume. B. Because of weight. C. Because of friction. Or letter D. Because of gravity. Bakit daw hindi ka lumulutang? The answer is... Letter D. Because of the gravity. 18. A ball is thrown upward. Its speed decreases until it stops and moves downward. What force acts on the moving ball? A. Gravity B. Inertia C. Friction or letter D. Centripetal Hinagis mo yung bola class pataas tapos huminto siya at bumagsak ulit sa lupa. Anong dahilan nun? Anong pwersa ang humila sa bola bakit siya bumalik sa lupa? E hinagis mo na siya. Yes, it's the gravity. Because the gravity again pulls all objects toward the Earth. 19. Newton first discovered gravity while watching A. The falling apple. B. Discovery Channel. C. Children playing. Or letter D. His favorite movie. Sir Isaac Newton was the first scientist to discover gravity while... Letter A. While watching the apple to fall down. Number 20. What effect does Earth's gravity have on us? A. It lets us float. B. It pulls us towards the Earth. C. We are too small to affect us. Or letter D. It moves us around the circle. Ano daw yung epekto ng gravity class dito sa Earth? Dito sa atin? Yes! The gravity pulls us towards the Earth. Next, number 21. What effect does the moon's gravity have on Earth? A. It causes ocean tides. B. It causes the atmosphere to rise. C. It pulls object towards the moon. Or letter D. It has no effects because it's too small. Anong epekto ng gravity ng moon class dito sa atin? So the moon's gravity has an effect on us in terms of tides. Yung ocean tides natin class ay epekto ng gravity ng moon. 22. How does friction affect speed? A. More friction decreases speed. B. More friction increases speed. C. Less friction decreases speed. Or letter D. None of this. What's your answer? The correct answer in number 22 is... Letter A. More friction decreases speed. Mas marami yung friction, mas less ang paggalaw or hindi gagalaw ang isang bagay. So, it will also decrease the speed of an object. 23. Wheels of a shopping cart would be an example of which type of friction? A. Rolling friction. B. Fluid friction. C. Sliding friction. Or letter D. Static friction. Yes, it's letter A. Rolling 
friction. 24. Which of the following statements is true? A. Friction pulls object towards the center of the earth. B. Friction affects primarily objects that contain iron. C. Friction slows down or stops objects in motion. D. Friction does not affect objects in motion. Ano yung statement na tama dyan? Yes, it's letter C. Friction slows down or stops object in motion. And number 25. Which of the following is not an example of friction as a helpful force? A. Using hand to wave hello to a friend. B. Using cloth to clean a pair of glasses. C. Using a marker to draw a picture on paper. Or letter D. Using scrub brush to wash dishes. Letter A. Using hand to wave hello to a friend. Now what's your score class? Count your score. I hope you've got a very good score on this topic. Good job! For you to keep updated on my video lessons, please subscribe to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raymond, or you may type in YouTube, Teacher Jem Raymond Chin. Or simply, you may follow these steps in liking and in subscribing my channel. Click the bell, then click all, then you'll receive notifications in all my video lessons. For those who have subscribed already, thank you so much. See you next time. Keep safe, everyone.